good to see you guys after the Christmas rush that I had I haven't been able to really video or do any videos like I intended I did some I just haven't posted them but these this video comes highly requested and another one that I'm going to do uh, or that I, I think I have already done it it was a Photoshop version so the number one question is if I have cricket can I use the files the basketball football baseball sports ball let's just call it the sports ball files and I'm sure that there are a lot of people who have figured it out by now but for those of you who have not I am here for you okay so today we're going to actually and keep in mind people look let's let's talk about this I haven't used cricket in maybe five or six years okay once I got my silhouette I never look back at another cricket I don't even use cricket products unless that's all I have to work with and I have no other choice the only, well I tell you I put it like this all the cricket product that I do use are cricket shirts because they are amazing for sublimation but anything else that cricket makes I really don't use it because I am such a silhouette fan okay um, so bear with me this will be the first time in six years that I've used five, five maybe four or five years that I've year, used Cricut, okay, um, to do this. So they have done a lot of updates that I'm uh, unaware of and things and so forth. But we're gonna navigate this thing together. I imagine that it can't be any harder than using Photoshop, and I've done this in Photoshop, okay. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna jump right into here, is you create a new canvas here and then we're going to click upload and so we're going to go to browse and then we're going to go here and let me go to let's do basketball okay basketball template here we go so the first thing you want to do is pull in i have a svg version of this that's my silhouette version this is svg okay and you click open all of you that says um, it is a large file definitely is a large file import anyway continue all right so I don't know what's going on in my house it's booming and oh my god I don't know what's going on all right so I see when I opened up this when I did this the first time I put so you could kind of get started you know or whatever so we're gonna just do it like this. We're gonna say save. And we're gonna open this up. Insert images. Okay, there we go. All right, so what they, I see what they did was, what they did was they took out a lot of things that I had given you guys to work with. So that's fine. This was like a, his picture here. This was like the splash that I put in there that was a color. Uh, that was a picture there. I think that was a picture there. So we're just going to delete all that stuff out. We're going to delete it out because I we can't use it. That was a picture. This looked like font and words. So on this whole side, I'm just going to delete all of this out because you guys can't use it. okay so like I said this is my first time doing this okay so like they said like you see right here where it says make necessary adjustments for your ball size again these are created for a regulation size basketball if you minimize from the corner like so it will stay proportionate and you can do it to any size ball that you have if you start squishing it from top to bottom and left to right and so on and so forth then it's not it's not gonna stay proportionate but if you adjust it from the corner then it should stay pretty proportionate to any size basketball that you need I actually have videos coming up of me doing mini basketballs some that I think I got from Dollar Tree or some that I got from Walmart we're gonna do that because I want you guys to see that it will work 
no matter what size basketball or ball you use okay so the red area is the safe area okay so that's what this is oh where did it go right there see that's that that and that same thing okay so um again we're just gonna kind of uh, just take all this out of the way we don't need that okay we're gonna work with where did you go where did you go there you go okay we're gonna work with this right here okay trying to get it in the frame of so you guys can see it okay so now this is telling me that this one slice is 1.27 1.237 okay so that's a no-go okay these are supposed to be at the minimum 13 inches tall okay Control. okay how do we zoom out <laughs> i'm so used to using Control minus to zoom in and out that i have forgotten it's around here somewhere okay there we are okay here we go Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like 13 and a half inches tall. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. It was going to be 13 because I can't remember the exact number. That's pretty good. But we're going to stretch it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so around 12, 13 inches. We got to stretch it. I think it's a little bit bigger than 13, but we got to stretch it anyway. So when we put it on the ball, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And so, see, you have all of these. Each one of these is uh, their own cut file which thank you cricket for making that easy for me okay so let's just deal with this one for right now and just turn all these off so you could just see this one okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to upload a picture and I'm just gonna upload some random picture that I have let me see customer <clears throat> I'm actually gonna use one that I actually did for Christmas um, I did one I did a basketball I did a couple of basketballs for Christmas I did not get a chance to uh, do any videos and I did quite a few basketballs for Christmas um, and I didn't get a chance to, to do any of them okay photo basketball here we go Mm, let's see okay he has the best pictures okay so you see all of his pictures are basketball pictures so let's just take this one okay bring it in and oh lord i haven't been asked this in years complex because it got fine detailed background and we're just gonna hit continue and i want that one and say pick three okay bring this in insert images right okay enlarge it as much as you can let me see can I crop or how do I crop <clears throat> oh yes lord this is slicing jesus let me let me duplicate this before i before i slice it haven't like i told you i haven't done this in a while so let's just see what i got here and there we go ha <laughs> ha 
who had done this in a while? <laughs> okay, we got it. So he sliced inside that ball. You see that? And he said, oh, it's got an ugly red background. What do I do with that? Okay, no problem. No problem. We're going to upload another background into it here. This is how I would do it, but you could do it a different way. Um, let's see. Let's see what I got. I don't have any basketball background. Let me see my pictures. Okay, let me do this. Bear with me, guys. I did this thing where you're supposed to um, consolidate your files. And in doing that, now I can't see my files, okay? may have to actually like uh I like that one though we're probably gonna use that one uh, okay I'm gonna have to just go and get a. Uh, let me see. Let me go in backgrounds. I may have some in backgrounds. And then again, I may just throw a background in there and just move forward because I just want to show you guys how to actually. Um, layer it in there and just or just put just a picture in there and crop it out and, and move on and that one insert image and <clears throat> we're gonna move this part out of the way here and just like we did before oh man I didn't realize it had sliced that too <laughs> Woo, that's okay gonna delete this whole situation that's why I duplicated it because I didn't know what cricket does these days so again oh that's un 
can do that. That makes a difference. Send to the front. Okay. All right. So now we have this and then this goes on bring to the front on top here what I don't like about Cricut is that Cricut doesn't offer <sighs> okay so it has images now um Okay, so Cricut doesn't offer a lot of designing concepts. Like when you do it in silhouette, like if I wanted to fade this out, make this more transparent, if I wanted to um, to do any of those type things, Cricut doesn't offer those things. Um, it doesn't offer you any, like in Photoshop, if you want to fade this into the, like if I want to take this, I hate to zoom already. So if I want to take this, see how it is a harsh line right here, and I wanted to fade it into this glitter blue background, I can't do that in Cricut. So it's kind of like it's stiff, it's sliced, it's cut. Because Cricut is not a designing software. It's for cutting fonts and cutting cards and so on and so forth. That's the reason why I really don't understand why people get a Cricut unless that's what you're going to do be doing if you if you're going to do just vinyl shirts and you're just going to cut it and put the put the words on it and that's it or silhouettes of things on something that is the only way i could see you using a cricket okay um in in doing and and using this software because now yes i got it here but this is what it's going to look like when you print it out it's not going to be faded into the background like let me give you an example let's go back let me give you an example of what i what i mean so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about here because i know you're like what fade in the background what do you mean fade in the background basketball we're working on so let me enlarge this one so as you can see here I took his picture and you see how that's faded there at the top and you faded into the fire at the bottom and all of these are faded into the background you cannot do that with Cricut okay you barely can do that with silhouette it can be done with silhouette um, but barely Photoshop is how I created these but silhouette you can get a little closer to this than you can with Cricut okay I'm gonna show you how I did this in Photoshop too this will be a, a subsequent video but you're not gonna get these results with Cricut it's just not gonna look like this it's gonna look like you put a background it's gonna look like you put a picture on top of that background and you're gonna move forward if that's what if your customer is okay with that if you're okay with that then we're going to move forward with this video but if you want it to look like this this is definitely a photoshop test where it is actual design software Cricut is not a design software i don't even know why they call it design space because it's it's i put it like this i'm sorry it is a designing software it designs software for uh like i told you before for cutting letters cutting silhouettes and then using that to cut your vinyl and put it on shirts. That's what it's for. You make and layer some things. You can separate it into, into layers and then layer it on top of it to become a picture, a full colored picture. But to do this type of designing, digital photo manipulation designing, it is not that. And you're not going to get the same outcome as you would with... Um, the, it's not going to look exactly like mine would look because I'm going to use an actual software. Now, we could cut this whole part out. 
we could have did it like this so let's let's do that so you guys can see it and we may have ended up cutting a bit of his face out or something like that so we could have done this Okay. And this is what you would have gotten. Okay. You would have gotten him sliced off like that. I didn't even get the bottom part, so all right, go back and redo it. So this is what you're going to get when you do the whole piece like that versus getting the whole picture in there. So you're going to slice him off like that. And this may be fine with you. You may have some photos where you can do this, but it's not fine with me. I want the whole picture to give it the whole concept. And the only way to do that is to include a background, then, lay it, and then slice the picture out of all of that. That's how you do that. That's, that's that's how we get to that point I can't uh, and um, those are the two ways to do it and you can do it from um, and do all the other ones the same way so you got that one there and you just take a picture and you slice it out one more time let me show you how to show you how to do it you upload your picture you go to browse go to custom well this is where mine are wherever you're wherever you save your pictures that's where you go mine is customer photos I try to keep them all together that's who's ordering it let's see can I get another one let's see can we do this one keep it complex and say continue and it says save Then you upload this one. And I try to get as much of him in there as I possibly can. I really can't see what I'm getting or what I'm not getting. Another thing I don't like. Yeah, I really don't care for this software, but this is what y'all want. This is what you get. I that's how you do it in Cricut. Um, I just really wouldn't do it in Cricut, honestly. I would probably do this in silhouette. Um, cause besides cutting this, cutting it like this one right here, the middle one, you're gonna be cutting off faces and cutting off stuff left and right. I just wouldn't do it this way. Let me see, could I get more of his face? Probably not, but there we go. Okay, so you missed out on him with the basketball. You missed out on so much happening in this picture because all we could do with this is crop it. Um, if you guys know a better way, uh, y'all know some other way that in Cricut that I'm not used to because I haven't used this in a while to do this, then let me know. But these are the two ways. Even in silhouette, I had to do the same thing. If I wanted all of these pictures in here like this, I had to design it. And, I mean, to actually, you know, uh... And this particular basketball, his mom wanted the entire picture. She didn't want me to cut him out of the background and put him in here, but uh, she just wanted the in, she wanted the in, as much of the background as we could possibly get because each moment meant something. So 
if we're if we're going by the customs of directions, then uh, this is what it is. Sorry, guys, about my husband a few minutes ago. <laughs> I know I just kind of skipped over that, didn't I? <laughs> but yeah, so here we are. Um, this is what it looks like in cricket. Can be done. Part. This is how you do it with with this part. So it can be done. It's just gonna look like this. You want to add text to so on and so forth okay do that you add a name add what you want here kind of stuff it in there guess that's how you change the color yeah there you go and now see they have the curve element Do that put that in there put his name you know got a number in there to put his name right there um yeah I don't know why the screen is not getting larger but yeah that's where we at I don't I don't really know what we got going on here so on the screen then why okay um this must be some cricket stuff I don't know anything about okay uh yeah this is my as you can see my whole screen is freezing uh, yet another reason why I don't work with cricket because cricket has too many issues with their software and I remember spending hours applying something that should have took me 30 minutes took me three hours because cricket software didn't want to work properly so uh yeah there's that so okay i guess i'm going to end this video here because everything is now frozen okay there it is if we can't we're back okay okay we're back okay okay still don't know why these two are on the screen but Oh. yeah so next thing okay so this is the this project is not supported by your current machine selection to resolve this select okay okay so that was the next thing that i noticed is that when you guys who use cricket get ready to uh print and cut i mean print it you can't because it's 13 inches it's not going to allow you to print this and from my understanding you still can't um make it the size you want it um or, or save it or if you save the project it's going to save the cricket format it's not going to save in a format that you could put somewhere else so um unless you slice this in half and then yeah after doing this guys after doing this in cricket guess what i wouldn't do it in cricket that's my final answer because you can't print this out I know they have some hacks on how you can print screen or screen grab or whatever they tell you to do and then you and then you got to take it somewhere else to do something else to do something else look look um, we're here now I tried to teach you guys how to do this in Cricut only way you're gonna be able to do this in Cricut is if you not do a regulation size ball 
and you do a mini ball or something like that that'll keep you in the parameters of cricket. I just want to do this in cricket, okay? But you guys wanted a video on how to do this in cricket. I wouldn't do this in cricket. It's just this is the this is the worst software for anything. If you ask me, I probably would never get a cricket endorsement, never because I speak so highly against cricket. Sorry guys, I tried. I have really tried to get y'all a video on how to do this in cricket. But now that I get to the point of, we gotta print it, there is nowhere to print it. Look at that. To resolve, select OK, and adjust the radius. I don't, I don't even know what to tell you guys. Cause this has to be at least 13 inches tall for a regulation size basketball least 13 <clears throat> let's, let me see something Let, let's, let's do this and if you cut it in half when you get ready to go put it on the ball it's going to shrink and leave a gap and you're going to be able to see that you cut this design in half. It may look good. You might could try it. That to me would be the only way. Oh yeah, child, I forgot. You got to pick a shape and then you got to tell it to slice that. If you want it to slice, then you got to tell it to slice it in half. Oh! I have never been more annoyed and aggravated in my life with a, with a, uh, with a design software. Because I can't, really can't do anything in here. So, guys, just don't do it in Cricut. Do it in Silhouette. Do it in Photoshop. This is not the move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so trying to help you guys, but this is awful. This is just awful. Um, yeah, um, hey. If you're able to slice this in half and put it on a basketball, please send me an email, send me a quick video, TikTok or something, showing me how you did it so I can update this video and be and, and mention you in the comments or something because I can't do it. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, guys. Till the next video. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.